Uh, I don't even know where to start. I was watching from the back. Um, I never felt that you actually intended to probably ever get engaged in that journey together. You know, you're saying that I'm not validating you enough, but it's like you got a first impression, Rose. You got a first one-on-one, -on -one, a second one-on-one. -on -one. Every single group date, and in the moment, I'm not realizing this, but I'm watching it back. I am giving you validation every single week. And for that hometown to go as perfectly as it did until the very end, and for you to do a 180, I feel like you were looking for the perfect opportunity to escape because you were never ready for an engagement. I... I'm honestly so confused as to why you'd think that. Um, I wouldn't... <sighs> wow. I feel a hole in your heart, Yeah. yet you treated me the way you did. You spoke down to me. You didn't even bother to say goodbye. You say you love me, but I don't think you know what love is. Because that was a time I needed you the most, and you ran away. <clears throat> um... I had every clear intention of getting engaged. I wouldn't have introduced you to my family if I didn't. So I understand that you're, you, you, found, you found what you were looking for. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I am yeah. very happy. I'm so, and, I, and I'm so glad for you. But that doesn't take away the anger that I had watching this back and seeing the way you treated me, using me to get the experience, the exposure, dare I say, the acting practice um, at my expense. <laughs> the acting. I mean, it was pretty good until the end when you kind of f***ed it up and I, ran away. I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Listen, I hate to break it to you. As much as I wish I was, I'm not Meryl Streep. I'm, oh, we know. I'm, we know. I'm, I'm, I'm no Meryl Streep. From what I've heard. I'm just going to jump in for one second. I don't think a lot of people know what we're talking about here. Yeah. Katie, where is this acting accusations coming from? You know, once we got out, a lot of things I was hearing was not only did he go to acting school, which is fine. You can be an actor and want to be on the show. That's not a problem. The problem is if you're acting with me. And so what I've been hearing is that Greg's not this shy guy act that he was doing on the show, that he's actually this very confident, cocky boy from Jersey who knows that he's hot and like this is an act. And so paired with those rumors and acting school, I really don't know if I actually know who Greg is. It's not even about the acting. What it really comes down to it is... It seems like it is, a little bit. The way you treated me, the way you said that you are so in love with me, I filled a hole in your heart, and the small second that things got awkward for you, uncomfortable, you ran, you're a liar. You did not love me, and if you think that's love, you don't know what love is. That's not the truth at all, honestly. Um, the way you were speaking to me in that moment still, it didn't feel like you were on the same level as me in terms of where we were at. Yeah, I will say I had three relationships going on. And in that moment, I was continuing to be open as the bachelorette, dating these multiple men who I was falling for. That's how this works. I'm sorry, honestly, if you feel like I was talking down to you. I was Gaslighting, I think, is a probably a better word. OK. Um, yeah, I was passionate in that moment. I, Passion? That's what you want to call that? Maybe rude. You don't want to apologize for what you saw, the way you spoke to me? You think that's OK? That's how you speak to your potentially future wife. That's how you resolve a disagreement? Katie, gaslighting is a very strong term, so yes. explain that. Gaslighting is when you try to make someone else feel like it's their fault. And you came at me as if I did something so horrible that you had to leave. Yet when I'm watching back there, you're pretty much admitting like, oh, I just didn't feel the same. And oh, we were just on different pages. Like you could have just been a man and had a normal conversation instead of being so rude and dramatic and leaving without even saying goodbye. Listen, um, I'm sorry you feel like that. Um, I'm sorry the way things ended between us. I, it was a tough environment to be in um, and yeah, it was tough for me. It's tough for everybody. I know. I'm not saying it wasn't. So you don't want to own up to anything that you did? Because I heard you say you have no regrets. I just said I'm, I'm sorry for making you feel like that. I, I, I wish I could go back then and change how I communicated my feelings. I was, in that moment, I, my head was in just a million places at once. Um,
I truthfully really didn't want to leave in that moment. I didn't know what to do. Um, Katie, is there anything you wish you would have said to Greg in that moment? I did everything I could. I literally was on my knees begging this man to stay. I gave him validation every single week, and he had the nerve to look down on me and say, I deserve more. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want that. I don't regret anything.